Hey guys, it's Mycosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. And today we'll talk about endospores, how the bacteria, when the circumstances are unfavorable, changes from the vegetative dividing state into the resting dormant state of an endospore. By the way, only gram-positive bacteria can make spore. Not all of them, of course, some of them. As for gram negatives, they never make spores. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. In the upcoming videos, we will dig deeper into the topic of spore forming gram positive bacilli, such as Bacillus cereus, Bacillus anthracis, as well as the Clostridia. Only some gram positive bacteria make spores under some unfavorable conditions. But as for gram negatives, they never Ever make spores. So here's the bacteria in the dividing state when everything is hunky-dory. But when food gets scarce, when the environment becomes unfavorable, the bacteria will surround itself by a coat. And now it's called a spore. The spore is hard and it has calcium bound to dipiclonic acid. Your bones have calcium, your bones are strong. Same thing with the spore. So here's the deal. Here's a gram-positive bacteria capable of making spores. We'll look at the surrounding environment. Favorable, I'll be in the vegetative state, therefore dividing, i.e. germinating. But under unfavorable circumstances, I'll make an endospore. Will you divide? Nope, I'm not dividing anymore in the spore. We call this suspended animation. I'm not dividing, I'm not germinating. What's the structure of the spore? Well, the spore has DNA of the bacteria in it. Oh, just like the regular DNA? Yeah, that copy of the chromosome. Complete copy, not half, not sort of kind of ish. Every thing in the chromosome is still here. We also have in the spore the bare minimum of essential proteins and ribosomes. And we have calcium bound to dipiclonic acid. From the outside to the inside, first we have an outer protein coat, which is like keratin, followed by two peptidoglycan layers, followed by inner membrane. These two layers are called the cortex because they are on the outside. Don't forget your bacteria is in the inside, which is made of bacterial DNA and bacterial cytoplasm. This is called the core on the inside. And look at this lovely cycle. When the circumstances are favorable, the bacteria is dividing like crazy. But under unfavorable conditions, the bacteria will make a spore. When the conditions go back to be favorable, then the bacteria will go back to be in the vegetative state. Let's make a spore. How long does that take? About seven hours. Why did you do that? Unfavorable environment. What do you mean? Decreased nutrition, food scarcity, especially alanine. So the bacteria will kick every toxin and antibiotic out and will become a spore made of the layers that we talked about. Don't forget the calcium dipiclinic acid. But hey, medicosis, the circumstances are favorable now. What should you do? Well, the spore is gonna go to hell. It's gonna absorb water, it's gonna swell, and you will disrupt the outer protein coat and before you know it, we're back at the vegetative state because now we have a robust amount of nutrition and this will take us one and a half hours. Oh, by the way, the bacteria can remain dormant inside the spore for centuries. Did you know that, Cody? Read the book. Here's the structure of the spore as we have discussed. The function is to protect the bacterial DNA from heat, chemicals, and enzymes. Remember when the bacteria used to have an outer layer of peptidoglycan and inner layer of cytoplasmic membrane? These are the same layers. They just changed to become layers in the cortex of the spore. Does the spore have any diagnostic significance? Yes, indeed. If you can identify a spore inside your cell, this is very diagnostic. If you happen to look at a spore under the microscope, you will find them bright and refractile. If you like this video, you will adore my antibiotics course, which will equip you about robust knowledge on pharmacology, especially antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. I also have a surgery high yields course, an emergency medicine high yields course, 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.